It's incredible how James Webb demonstrated that the universe could be twice as old as we thought. A groundbreaking new study shows that current estimates of the universe's age may be incorrect. The cosmos is hypothesized to be 26.7 billion years old, nearly twice as ancient as previously calculated. This discovery was achieved by analyzing data collected during the James Webb Space Telescope's first year of operation, during which it made great use of its extraordinary ability to monitor infrared light and probe the early cosmos, the frontier of time. The Webb Telescope detected more massive than expected high redshift galaxies, casting doubt on the mechanisms of galaxy evolution and even the Big Bang Theory. A new look at an ancient idea, however, reveals that our best estimations about the age of the universe may have been incorrect. So what is the tried and true theory that can explain the strange web saw pattern in distant galaxies? Is there any evidence that the universe's age must be changed? Here's how James Webb demonstrated that the cosmos could be twice as old as we thought. Hello and welcome to Z. In this video, we will try to see how JWST proven that the universe is double the known age. Subscribe and follow us. The final and most important issue is that if the cosmos is truly 26.7 billion years old, how does this alter our understanding of the universe? Cosmological dimensional age to make sense of this discovery, a look back to the 1920s when one equation drastically transformed astronomy is required. At the start of that decade, it was commonly assumed that the universe showed no signs of expansion or contraction. However, the study of American astronomer Edwin Hubble proved that notion false. Amazingly, he detected a pattern in the migration of other galaxies, indicating that they are all moving away from our own, with the rate of fading increasing with distance. As a result, V is the recession velocity and D is the distance to the galaxy. If this is the case, then D can be used to compute V. This seemingly evident link served as the foundation for the calculation of the Hubble constant, a contentious statistic in the realm of astronomy. It is a crucial statistic that shows the rate of expansion of the universe, which in turn reveals the behavior of the universe. If the universe's expansion rate has always remained constant, the galaxies that are now receding must have been substantially closer to one another in the past. If we travel far enough back in time, we will reach the Big Bang, which is the moment when all of the matter and radiation in the universe were crowded into a very compact location shortly before it exploded into existence. When discussing the age of the universe, most people refer to the Hubble time scale, which estimates the duration of time over which this expansion has happened. This number can be thought of as the mathematical inverse of the Hubble constant. Redshift is the name given to the phenomena that happens as light stretches due to the expansion of the cosmos, as proved by Hubble's observations. Because light waves are stretched out as they travel over an ever-expanding cosmos, light from a distant galaxy seems redder. The color of the galaxy changes from blue to red as one goes further into space. Others, on the other hand, did not believe that the concept of an ever-expanding cosmos was a step in the right direction. One of them was astronomer Fritz Zwicky from Switzerland. Zwicky has a brilliant intellect and was lucky to have lived in a remarkable epoch. His correct predictions about the presence of neutron stars and dark matter validated his skill as an astronomer. In addition, he was among the first to investigate cosmic rays and supernovae. Zwicky, on the other hand, did not agree with Hubble's interpretation of redshift or with the resulting conclusion that the universe is expanding. The tired light concept he proposed presented an alternative way of understanding. Zwicky hypothesized that the redshift in light color was caused by photons losing energy as they collided with other particles on their journey to Earth and that this was the cause of the phenomenon. This theory ignored the Big Bang and the expansion of the cosmos. For the first time, substantial evidence in favor of the Big Bang theory was offered in the now famous Alpha Beta Gamma paper, which was initially published in the 1940s. 
This article provided evidence that the Big Bang Theory is required to explain the origins of the universe and the development of heavier elements like hydrogen and helium. This piece of evidence was provided by this article. Following the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation in the 1960s, the Big Bang Theory and the expansion of the universe were scientifically accepted. The cosmic microwave background, generally known as the CMB, helped to establish the Big Bang Theory as the most widely accepted explanation for how the universe initially came into being after its discovery. A rising body of facts and observations refute Fritz Zwicky's old light theory, which might be related to the hypothesis's progressive retreat from the forefront of cosmological discourse. LCDM, which stands for Lambda Cold Dark Matter, is a popular model that accurately reflects the behavior of the universe. This model, which depicts the cosmos as a moving and expanding entity, takes into account the existence of both dark energy and dark matter. This evidence supports both the Big Bang Theory and the cosmic redshift that occurs as a result of the universe's expansion. The LCDM model, on the other hand, has been met with some intriguing issues as a result of recent James Webb Space Telescope discoveries. Webb's study of the nature of galaxies at high redshifts offered insights into the universe that go beyond what the LCDM model can explain. The redshift can be linked to the source of the problem. The cosmos redshift is currently equal to zero, however, as we journey further back in time, it will increase. This would imply that things with larger redshifts are older and further away than objects with smaller redshifts. The James Webb Space Telescope made significant discoveries that call into doubt the long-standing LCDM theory. It revealed massive, bright galaxies in their final phases of development between redshifts Z equals 11 and 15, or 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. While Hubble Space Telescope measurements of galaxies with a redshift of 10 were consistent with the anomaly, photos taken by the James Webb Space Telescope of a large number of high redshift galaxies in fast succession magnified the phenomenon. This issue emerges as a direct outcome of the LCDM's prediction that the first traces of star formation in the early cosmos will appear at redshifts larger than 20 when the universe is only about 150 million years old. Once the stars start to form, it takes billions of years for the galaxies to achieve their ultimate, massive, and brilliant shapes. However, the Webb High Redshift Galaxy data do not support this notion. It's difficult to comprehend how huge, luminous galaxies could have formed in such a short time, 300 to 500 million years, if stars originally formed at the universe's age of 150 million years. The combination of the weary light hypothesis with the covariant coupling constant, CCC, model provides a novel perspective on early galaxy observations. Gupta's work shows that fundamental constants such as the speed of light and gravitational constant are not constant in time, but rather undergo modifications that lengthen the time frame of the universe's evolution. The investigation compares various models to observational data and discovers that the CCC plus tired light TL, model best fits the observed features of high redshift galaxies. This concept proposes an extended period for the universe, giving galaxies more time to originate and grow into huge structures. However, the CCC plus TL model has certain issues and flaws, as recent Earth investigations have produced solid evidence for the constancy of fundamental constants across time. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is challenging the classic LCDM concept and prompting astronomers to consider other possibilities. The JWST's discovery of the universe's isotropic nature may call the CCC plus TL model into question. However, it will be intriguing to see which model ultimately matches the facts based on future observations from other space telescopes. Scientists are astounded by this astounding revelation. Have you subscribed yet? Make sure to do so if you want to be the first to know when a new discovery is made. Thanks for watching.